I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Back a year ago. along with um, this course telling you how you going to, how you can become a creative writer um, a creative writer yeah or a writer so the next aspect um, topic here is what's expected from you now you know practice practice makes perfect commit time to learning and practicing the craft ah uh, we cannot say this enough if you want to be a doctor, you have to learn it. You want to be a carpenter, you have to learn it. You want to sweep the street, you must be the best one and learn how to do it. You want to be a writer, you must read and write regularly. Because we said reading is writing. If you don't read, you cannot write. Because the point why reading is writing, you will learn from other people's style. If it is Hemingway, you will know Hemingway's style. If it is Chinua Achebe, you will learn his own style because each writer uh, has got his or her own style. If it is Chimamanda, uh, Ngozi Chimamanda. The, in fact, the, um, it's just like, um, how, how do I say it? It's just like our voice. Singers have different type of harmonies that they bring to the crowd and make them feel happy. So it's all about um, style. Your style is your um, brand. So it, reading will help you to now create your own style, not trying to imitate. Imitation is not very good. You are not a parrot. Now that helps you to write. They encourage you to write. Now, read like how a writer would. Now, writers also 
as they are reading, trying to put the, the look in the uh, read uh, for entertainment, that's correct. And secondly, they follow the protagonist and say, okay, this story has got a beginning. That's what we, uh, has got middle and end. This is what we call the hero's journey. Now you follow the hero or heroine, you see all the difficulties, uh, the inciting moments and so on, incidents until the resolution. All stories um, since the world started has the same pattern. Even the, um, uh, when the grandma is telling you the story, she tells you the beginning that is a little bit sweet and so on in the middle, you see the difficulties, uh, you know, uh, uh, the uh, boy that wants to um, go to the bush to fetch, uh, uh, you know, to um, uh, um, hunt, for example, now got there and then something happened. Something terrible happened, but he did everything possible to come out from the difficulty and then ran back home. And then the moment he reached, uh, he, he landed in the compound, he was panting, and then he told his story. But he won because he escaped. So it, it, that's very, very important when you are reading, try to see in the books you are reading how the writer is um, putting things together, all the elements together, even if it is um, uh, synonyms, uh, metaphors, um, uh, um, uh, allegories, try to see the way they are building the story, the momentum of the story to the end. So this is the way you read. You don't read like a layman. You, uh, you, you, you read like you are studying the book and then at the same time, enjoying the book. Now, complete all the assignments on time so that you can get feedback before the next class. Now, if you don't do the assignments, you can never improve step by step, step by step. Trust yourself. We cannot say it enough. Confidence is the engine that carries you all. That's what drives you. If you have no confidence, you cannot do anything. There's nothing you can do. So trust yourself. Never mind whatever people will say, you don't care. You can write stories. Take it that you can write stories. Don't judge yourself too hard. Some people will tell, will tell me, I don't know if I'm good. If you say that, you are not good because you are. it's not me, Supreme Justin, that will tell you that you are good. So if you tell me that I'm weak, I cannot write, uh, I don't know if I'm good, you are bad, simple. And uh, when I tell you that you are bad, you will say it's an insult, but you insulted yourself because you lack confidence in yourself. You don't know how powerful you are. And this is why you condemned yourself. So if you condemn yourself, I'll condemn you two times. So be very careful, do not condemn yourself if you're a writer. A writer is like a judge. You are the observer of the world. You look at the world and you write from your point of view and do not allow anybody to tell you what to write or influence you because your job is to influence the world. Yes is to tell them what to do if they agree with you. But I bet you a good number of people, a, a, um, a good number of people will follow you as you go along in your writing, uh, in your journey as a writer. So keep yourself updated with local and global news. And this is very, very important. People talking about Agatha Christie, for example, all a good number of Agatha Christie's novel uh, according to um, stories about her, when she wakes up in, uh, during the England of those days, she wakes up, she picks up all the newspaper to see what is happening. And uh, what interests her is all about the crooks around, how um, they have stolen money, killed their wives and so on, love affairs, mingled, you see? And then, and then she will uh, mark all that from the reality she creates fiction. So this is why, you can get a lot of, we can get a lot of stories from there. It is a well-known fact that many of the best creations were inspired by events in real life. Yeah? 
and you can now bring out more characters from there. 